Hi everybody, Cannabeard here. How you doing today? Uh, here today, we're in the greenhouse. We need to address a few things here. Uh, my greenhouse is a bit overgrown and I got to trim it back. I got to harvest a bit of food um, and we got to decide what, what we're keeping and what we're not keeping. A lot of this stuff was set up as, uh, oh, I had a bug on my neck. Um, <laughs> a lot of this was set up as uh, just a cover crop uh, for my medical cannabis. Uh, I know that's a bit of a dirty word here on YouTube, so uh, I'm probably going to blur out the actual plants so that I can maintain a, a family-friendly channel here, even though they are they are CBD and medically related and everything, but whatever. YouTube's a whole weird-ass thing, so we're just not going to get into that today. Uh, but let's just give you a quick tour of what's growing on and uh, what we're going to do here. All righty, so we got some ever-bearing tomatoes. We've got some runners from uh, my aunt. And then we got last year's that I didn't use as runners. And as you can see, the runners are a lot healthier than last year's just sitting there. Um, just more, more beans and stuff from my mother and a whole bunch of peppers and stuff are all starting to pop up down here, thank goodness. Um, these are gonna be for an experiment on my other channel, my cannabis channel. The tomatoes are growing strong as you can see, holy crap. They're uh, really liking it in here. They're, they're doing really well. Yeah, very, very good. And uh, as you can see, my beds are just bonkers with life. Oh my goodness, right? Look at these beds. There's just, there's almost no room in here. Anyway, we need to get in here and do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of harvesting and stuff. As you can see this, all this spinach is just going cray cray. We gotta uh, harvest this and use it. And uh, we got a couple other things in the back there that have gone to seed, as you can see. And uh, we just gotta harvest and get rid of those. Those ones there have gone to seed, they just haven't gone to flower yet. So let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so a lot of this spinach is good to go. We're just gonna come in here and take a lot of this big spinach out of here. Man, some of this stuff is just so healthy and huge. Um, I, 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 I'm impressed at how well it's going and I'm surprised that it hasn't bolted. I believe this might have been one of the bolt resistant varieties that I have. And uh, bolting just means going to seed. It means going to flower. It sort of happens at the end of the end of the season generally. But we got to come through here and harvest and uh, just clean out a lot of this, what's going on here, because there's just too much happening and this is all good, good eating. Right there, like that, and then like that, like that. And I'll allow a lot of the rest of this to regrow and to continue to grow in here like this. So let's move on to the next one over here. Man, these are enormous. Man, look at these things. They're so big. These leaves are bigger than my hands, some of them. Look at this. Hold on, let's chop this big ass leaf down here. Look at this. Look how big that is. It's bigger than my hand. Man, they are healthy, healthy spinach. <laughs> Holy smokes. So obviously what I'm doing here is good and the plants are loving, loving what we got here. That's good news. That means uh, my other plants I've got growing on in here are gonna be nice and healthy. Woo, that mint is strong. Some of them have actually just sort of bent over and snapped just from being uh, uh, other things happening in the, in the greens here. Oops. Something's just got knocked over a little bit and broken. They do kind of snap easy when they get that big. I can hear them snapping under my fingers just right now. But that's why we're harvesting it. get a lot of this good and edible stuff out right now there's a couple things we could do with it we'll we'll eat it for you know we'll have some tacos some salads uh, we can put it in some pasta uh, I might even uh, sort of like cook and freeze a little bit of it uh, it's good for good for making like layering in lasagnas and stuff like that okay that's probably about it that looks pretty good though. 
We've cleaned that area out. There's like a bunch more um, romaine that's coming in here in the back. And as I said, I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these, these weird things. So let's, uh, let's just do that real quick here. There we go, take the whole thing. Let's get rid of the whole thing there. There's another one over there too. Let's uh, do the same here. It's kind of shading a bunch of more productive edible plants anyway. We'll give these to the rabbits and the, and the chickens. But there we go, that, even that right there freed up a whole lot of room. Looking good, looking good. And uh, I gotta do the same over here. We got just a, an intense amount of uh, uh, kale. This, this is actually a pretty, pretty decent kale. Most kale is pretty bitter and awful. And this is actually a pretty good sweet kale. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the subspecies or whatever. My mom gave it to me and she said it was something that she's grown in the past and liked it. So we're gonna do the same over here. Just do a little bit of a, a little bit of cleanup. So let's get into that. First, I wanted to show you how much, how much spinach I got here. Look at all this, this whole basket full of spinach. Wow. That's a ton. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna come through and do the same thing. Cut everything that's a big leaf off. And uh, we'll leave some of that new growth. We can usually get about two harvests out of uh, spinaches and lettuces and stuff like that before it starts to go bitter off on you. You lose that that fresh sort of nature after a few harvests. Oh, we got a thistle or something in here. Some sort of undesirable weed-like thing. Let's get that out of there. Not too sure what that was, but it's gone now. Here we go, a uh, fresh whole bundle of uh, nice kale. Right on, right on, right on. Now, one more thing I need to do here is honestly, a, a lot of this um, mint is a little bit overgrown here. So I'm gonna get in there and chop back a little bit of that mint too, just to sort of clean everything up a bit here. So let's do that. Ooh, that smells great. And I'm gonna do the same over here. Again, we're just gonna cut this back. It's just a pro prolific grower. It's growing just fine and it's sending out runners all over the place. So I wanna make sure it's not uh, going too crazy. I can clip some of these runners off like this with have roots and we can replant them. So that's cool. That's pretty cool, but um, we gotta, I don't want this to actually spread all over the, the place here. So we're gonna cut a bit of this back. Oh yeah, wow. It is going crazy this way. It was vining hella. Look at that, look at this long runner. Wow. There we go, that's probably cut back enough. And I just wanna clip back some of the height here. Let some of the young new leaves underneath it grow. Yep, that's good right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the back here. I'm gonna come through and just cut out a whole bunch of this right out the middle. I guess I can't reach very well, so I'm just gonna do it really barbarically. And the same thing here. I'm gonna stop any of these super long runners that I can see like that, and the rest will grow back. And now we've got an absolute ton of mint. I'm not too sure what we're gonna use it for all. Uh, looks, like, looks like a couple of carrot tops got in there too, but um, there's an absolute ton of it. And uh, that cleaned out the garden a little bit here. I wanna go back in and maybe even do a bit of clover cleanup. But for now, that's pretty darn good. I, uh, I just wanted to kind of clean up the beds a little bit. They were just looking a little bit overgrown. 
and we're hiding a lot of under underbush stuff. So yeah, I don't want it to shade things out too badly. There we go, there we go. Everything's growing pretty darn good in here. I'll be doing a, a, a sort of a full garden tour and greenhouse tour here pretty darn soon. We're just about set up. Once I get all the peppers in there and stuff, um, we'll be doing that. And uh, I don't know if you can hear this thing bubbling over the cameras or not, but I'm making a, making a batch of tea. Compost tea, man. It is life. It is true life. You can see everything reacting very well to the all the compost teas and stuff I've been giving everybody. So uh, right on. Don't forget to get your hands dirty. Keep growing strong. Hit that like button if you do like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>